Hey, it's Randy at Tano.net. Let's get creative and transfer our pictures onto marble coasters. That's what this is right here. It's beautiful tumbled marble from Italy, 4x4, four four, and it comes in this kit right here called the Marble Coaster Kit. Everything you need is in the kit to transfer your photograph onto the surface. That's what you're going to see next in this instructional video. Let's make sure you have everything you need for the Marble Coaster Kit. You should have an instruction sheet, three pieces of Talano imaging paper, one foam brush, one spreader, one piece of sandpaper, some cheesecloth, some cork footings, Tylano medium, antiquing glaze, and four marble coasters. Okay, now we're going to seal the image. What we're going to use is some Tylano medium and the brush. Dip it in so that you get a generous amount, about a half an inch on the surface, and go from top to bottom, covering the image back and forth, just like I'm doing. And that's about it. You don't want to overwork the image and keep overworking with your brush because what happens, it'll cause the image to lift. So three or four times over the surface of the image and that's good. Here's a quick little tip for cutting out your image before you put it onto the tile. Take one of the marble coasters, put it over the image so that you're trying to cover up the entire face, imagining it as if it's going to be transferred onto the surface. But it's a good cutting template that you just use to go around all four corners. there you have your paper ready to go to transfer onto the surface of the tile and it's sized perfectly. Now we're ready to adhere the image onto the tile and what we're going to use is some the Tylano medium. We're going to dip in about half an inch on the brush and coat the entire surface with a liberal amount of medium so that it gets a nice glossy coat so it looks very wet and be sure you go over the entire surface right out to the edges because we want to make sure we have a good adhesion that pulls the image into the surface. So that's what it looks like when it's all wet with the medium on the surface. And you have a little bit of time to play with here, a couple minutes, but we don't want to take too long. And what you do is you'll take your image and place it down over the surface and you can smooth it out, get rid of the air bubbles by using the spreader. I also use a paper towel just to wipe the spreader after I do each stroke sometimes just to make sure I'm not getting any medium onto the back of the paper. So just go clockwise and push the medium out to the edge and be sure not to get any medium on the back of the paper. So I'll do this about three times pushing all the air bubbles out to the edge and then we can let the tile dry for about three hours naturally or we can use a hair dryer in about 15 minutes to pull the image off or put the tile into the oven uh, at about 170 degrees for 15 minutes and that will help dry the transfer as well. Now we're ready to reveal the image. What we need to do here is just place some water over the surface of the imaging paper and then peel it off. So simply just take your brush and get a liberal amount of water over the entire surface of the coaster and you get to see your image already even before you do the peel. I usually let the water sit on there for about five seconds maybe ten seconds even ten seconds if you want fifteen seconds doesn't matter really but the whole idea is the water is going to help push the paper away from the image so all I do is pick a corner and then begin to peel. And your image stays on the tile and the paper comes off. So now we're ready to let the image dry. You can use a little paper towel to speed up the drying surface if you like. But I usually like to let it air dry for about uh, 15 minutes or a half an hour just so we know that all the mediums dry and there's no moisture on the surface. And then we're going to get ready to sand the edges and then seal the image after that. Okay, so now we're just going to sand the edges because there's some extra medium that's on the edge after we did the transfer. So I'll just take your sandpaper and just quickly rub back and forth along the edge of the tile. The nice thing about the marble is it sands very nicely and you get a nice clean line. And it also has like a bit of a rustic appearance to it, so it's a nice effect. You do all four edges, pull off anything that you don't want to see, and now you're ready to do the ceiling on the coaster. Okay, now we're just going to seal the image on the surface of the tile to make sure that it's protected against moisture, coffee stains, alcohol stains. Simply just take the Tylano medium again, 
dip in about a half an inch and just cover the entire surface of the tiles so that you get a nice glossy wet look. And this will really give it a good bonding strength so that you get good durability out of the surface. So there you go. Now I'm just going to let that air dry for about 45 minutes and then we'll just put the cork feet on after that. Okay, your tile is sealed, it's dry. Last thing you need to do is put the cork feet on the back. So simply just turn over your coaster, take a cork footing, and just put one in each corner, which will just protect the, the tile itself from scratching any of the surface that you may place the coaster onto. So there you go. Your tile is complete.